it is the second video class of human reproduction that is male reproductive system the location of male reproductive system is pelvis region in our pelvis region male reproductive system present which includes four parts testes accessory ducts accessory glands and external genitalia first one is called testes one pair of testes present in male testes is called primary sex organ in case of male testes present inside the scrotal sac then number two accessory ducts there are many accessory ducts present in male reproductive system these are Rheta testes, Vasa efferentia, Epididymis, and Vas deferens. Then accessory glands. There are three types of accessory glands present in male reproductive system. These are seminal vesicles, one pair present, prostate gland, one, bulbo urethral gland, one pair present. Seminal vesicles present uh, near the prostate gland region. They are ejaculatory duct present. Here in the diagram, these are called seminal vesicles. Prostate gland present posterior part of the urethra. This is called prostate gland. Then bulbo urethral glands. Bulbo urethral glands present in the two sides of urethra. That is one pair present. Then external genitalia. External genitalia in case of male is called penis. Here is the diagram of male reproductive system. This is called testis. This is called epididymis. From epididymis, vast difference arises. And vas deferens connected with seminal vesicles. Seminal vesicles are again connected with prostate gland and along the urethra, it runs towards the penis. This is urinary bladder. You know, urethra is the common passage for both semen and sperm. Sorry. Common passage for both semen and urine. Okay. Then I am going to discuss about the detailed structure of testes. The location of testes is extra abdominal cavity, and that cavity is called scrotal sac or scrotum. I repeat. Testis present inside the extra abdominal cavity called scrotum. Testis connected with abdomen, that is abdominal connection, is called spermatic cord. Uh, this connection occurs through inguinal canal, through inguinal canal. So testis connected with abdomen through inguinal canal by the help of spermatic cord. Then scrotum. Scrotal connection means testis connected with scrotal sac through a ligament called gubernaculum. It is an elastic ligament which connected with testis and scrotal sac called gubernaculum. Testis present inside the scrotal sac. Uh, scrotal sac is the extra abdominal cavity. Uh, because spermatogenesis required low temperature, 2 degree lower temperature than our body temperature. In this temperature, sperms are produced. That's why test is present inside the scrotal cell. But in some animals like bat, rat, and otter, otter is a rat like mammals, uh, their test is descent to scrotal cell is present inside the scrotal cell only during breeding season. Okay, and in whale and elephant, testis is present inside the abdomen because uh, there is no need of pulling of body temperature 
or the polytech nursery school so there is no need of extra cooling then cryptotism cryptotism means non descent of testes if testes unable to descend into the scrotal sac this condition is called cryptotism in this case the person is sterile surgical removal of testes is called castration or or hysterectomy it is essential because due to prostate cancer extra androgen hormone secretes which adversely affect the prostate gland as a result during removal of prostate tumor castration required then we will discuss some abnormal condition sometimes inside the scrotum only one test is present this condition is called monorpidism mono means one so one test is present inside the scrotum of the sac means monorpidism sometimes more than two test is present inside the scrotal sac more than two test is this is called only orchidism this is called poly orchidism poly means many sometimes two testes fused to form single testes so the fusion of testes is called sing orchidism sing orchidism in monorchidism polyorchidism and sing orchidism all the cases the person may be sterile or fertile <coughs> then we discuss about the internal structure of testes the covering of testes is called tunica albuginea the covering of testes is called tunica albuginea and inside testes testicular lobules are present inside testes many testicular lobules are present and their number is approximately 200 to 250 so inside the testes 200 to 250 testicular lobules are present and inside each testicular lobules one to three seminiferous tubules are present and the seminiferous tubules are called structural and functional unit of testes so this is the testicular lobules inside testicular lobules seminiferous tubules present inside seminiferous tubules two types of cells present one is called germinal cell which produces spermatogonium another is called sotoli cell which nourishes the spermatogonia to develops to form sperm so inside seminiferous tubules spermatogenesis takes place so this is seminiferous tubules some small cells are present which are called spermatogonia or germinal cell and some larger cells are also present which are called sotoli cell remember one thing sotoli cell are somatic cell and very few number present inside the um, seminiferous tubules but germinal cells are spermatogonia cells are germ cells and only meiosis occurs in germinal cells or in spermatogonia meiosis occurs which are uh, develops which will develops to form spores and the function of sotoli cell is nourishment it provide nourishment to the developing spore 
get new crystal to the developing sperm. These are the function of subtle cells. These are also called nurse cells because it provide nourishment. Then we discuss about the fusion of all the seminal tubes. So all the seminal tubes are fused to form a network. And the network is called rectal testis. Okay, all the seminal tubes are united to form a network. This network is called rectal testis. From rectal testis, small tubules are arise. These are called fasci francae. All the fasci francae are united. And highly coiled to form epidermis. Called epidermis, and from epidermis, vast difference arises. So these are called accessory ducts. I can repeat: first, seminiferous tubules united to form reticulates. Reticulates. Form many small tubules called vasai francia, and all the vasai francia are united to form epididymis, which is highly coiled. Inside epididymis, swarms, spermatozoa are temporarily stored. When phagocytosis of spermatozoa also occurs, it is an important point. Phagocytosis of spermatozoa also occurs inside epididymis. When from epididymis, vas vas difference arises. Epididymis consists of three parts. Tubule, corpus, and coda. Tubule is the cap part or first part or head of the epididymis. Corpus is the middle part of the epididymis, and coda is the tail part or last part of the epididymis. Coda is so coda epididymis is connected with vas deferens, and tubule epididymis is connected with testis. And one more thing. Testis and epididymis are combinedly called testicles. Testis and epididymis are combinedly called testicles. So these are the important points which are frequently asked in NEET, NEET exam or medical entrance examination. Okay. Then we we'll discuss about cremaster muscle and ductus muscle. Cremaster muscle present in spermatic cord and ductus muscles present in the wall of scrotum. <coughs> Due to contraction and relaxation of these two muscles, testes pull upward into the abdomen and sometimes pull outward towards the Scut up. These two muscles are highly sensitive to temperature. These are involuntary muscles, involuntary smooth muscles, and sensitive to temperature. So, in winter season or in low temperature, these two muscles contract, and the test is. Pull upward towards the abdomen. As a result, the minimum amount of temperature that required for spermatogenesis can be maintained. So, maintenance of temperature for production of sperm are regulated by these two muscles. Okay. So, these are the important points of male reproductive system. That is, uh, important point of test is not actually male reproductive system. Uh,